Hey what's up guys, Matt here from TechRate Reviews, and today I'm going to be telling you 5 more reasons why you should buy a Chromebook. A few months ago I published a video saying 10 reasons why you should buy a Chromebook, and you guys really seem to enjoy that, so I thought I'd give you 5 more reasons to buy it. The details from that last video are still very relevant, and I'll leave a link to it here and down below in the description, but these are 5 additional reasons why you should buy a Chromebook. The first reason is Google recently released a tool called ARC Welder for Chrome OS devices that allows you to run Android apps on your Chromebook. And this is huge since the Google Play Store has far more apps than the Chrome Web Store. So if there's an app you enjoy using on your Android phone or tablet, you can now use that on your Chrome OS device. And although this is a development tool, so you may experience some bugs, a lot of people said it works pretty well with a bunch of apps. And even if it's not perfect, it's a great way to run most Android apps on your Chromebook. The second reason is also related to Android, but recently Google's began a huge push to further integrate Chrome and Android devices. So if you have a phone running Android L or newer, and you want to log into your Chromebook, it'll automatically do that for you. And also your text messages, phone calls, you can check the battery status of your phone, all from your Chromebook. And this is only the start, Google's planning to do a lot more in the future, but even right now that adds a lot of functionality and makes the Chromebook that much more useful. However, I want to add, if you don't have a compatible Android device to work with those features, there's an app called Pushbullet that lets you send things between computers and get your notifications everywhere. It's really great, I use it on all of my devices, and it works on iOS, so no matter what kind of device you have, you should be able to mimic this functionality. The third reason is that there is some really great photo editors out there for Chrome OS now. In my previous video, I had talked about how you could take the photos with you, but there really wasn't a great way to edit them. But recently, I've discovered an application called Polar Photo Editor 2, and this reminds me a lot of Lightroom. It has most of the same functionality, and you can perform many of the same edits. So it isn't exactly like Lightroom, but it's a great alternative it's free, and you can run it on any device that can run Chrome. This fourth reason is personally one of my favorites, as I use applications like Photoshop, Lightroom, and Final Cut Pro on a daily basis. However, they aren't available for Chrome OS, so I use an application called Chrome Remote Desktop, and this allows me to remotely connect to my computer back at home and run those applications on my Chromebook. And since the computer back at your house is doing the actual computing, the Chromebook doesn't have to be very powerful at all, and as long as it has a strong internet connection, you'll be more than fine to run any app you need, whether it only run on Mac or Windows. This fifth and final reason is that there is simply a ton of choice when it comes to buying a Chromebook. I just went on the page where Google sells their Chrome OS devices and found that there are 22 different devices for sale from a range of manufacturers and with a range of features. Some of these have touch screens, others are 15 inch screens, some are 11, some are ruggedized. The point is that there is a Chromebook for you no matter what you're looking for, and the prices are still very affordable with the majority of them being two or three hundred dollars at most, and some, like I mentioned, being as low as 170. And I'm sure if you find one on sale you can get an even better deal, but you're really going to enjoy using a Chromebook if you buy one. A lot of people I know use one of these on a daily basis and are very happy with it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did give it a thumbs up down below. It really helps out and also if you have any questions leave a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I should be down there for a couple of days responding to your questions and answering your comments. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.